we have the power of materialization. Materialization? So that means you can materialize a figurative representation. I have no idea what that means. Let's figure it out. So we're going to use it on this portrait over here. Well, here's an answer to our question. The fourth jewel of the locket allows us figurative transformation. Henry, your ancestors were full of resources. I don't think they were the source of this medallion my uncle would have known. In addition, we didn't find any research notes on this subject. In my opinion, they only looked for the missing parts. They thought that once they had completed the medallion, it would rid them of the beast. None succeeded. Where does the medallion come from then? We shall end up discovering, I'm sure. So the medallion, uh, the power brings things to life. We, we brought the picture to life. Luckily, we didn't bring the picture of King Henry to life. We just brought the key in the picture to life. So that's, that's probably the safest. So Henry, you told us that your uncle had prepared this room for you. He hoped for your visit? I had indeed planned to come see him, but we had not fixed the date. My business in Canada leaves me little free time. Do you know who lived in this room before Sir Charles prepared it? I believe that this room was occupied for quite some time. Nobody lived here. It was occupied for some time. Nobody lived here. He meant to say unoccupied for quite some time. So this is Henry's room. This is Henry's room. And apparently he lives in Canada. That explains the lack of accent in his voice. You would expect him to have the same accent as Holmes and Watson, naturally, being from the same country as them. Relatively the same area, friendly people. Okay, so uh, we have chess pieces, which are here. They're all over the board. Okay, 15 chess pieces, and obviously we're going to put the chess pieces into place in order to... Well, it's going to be a long puzzle. Let's just find the chess pieces for now, okay? Worry about the puzzle later. Where are they? There. Uh, there. Hint, hint, hint. Oh. There. Got it. Woo! Did not need to use the hint. So, the chess piece goes on the chessboard. For the puzzle, we can move things up and down. So, like, we move this down and, and um, see, we can move this piece left and right. You see what the arrows do. If the piece is in the same column, you can move it up and down. If it's in the same row, you can move it left and right. So here, what we want to do is move left and right first. Ah, okay. Left and right first, up and down first. So now we're going to go down, right, and down. Does that make sense? So we moved everything into place ahead of time. So this is going to be kind of tricky. So let's see if we can move these pieces right and, and then, I guess, that one down, and then left, and then up, so that way we've got the two in a row together. Hmm, I think with this one, we just need to move pieces, um, up and down, so, like, this is up. Uh-oh, wait, mm -hmm. Let's see, I move, um, this left, this, this right, that down, there we go. That's it. No, wait, no, no. Move this back down, this right, so I can move it left. Multiple solutions to that puzzle. Pretty sure I messed up while solving it, but the decor, it reveals more than taste. In fact, it reveals the solution to entering Edward's room. We put all these pieces together. Obviously, they're numbers. Five, one, so there's the five, there's a one, two, four, and a three. So they're basically mirror images. If you put a mirror in the middle of those pieces, it, it reveals the numbers. The room of Edward, the famous navigator of the family and the first victim of the curse. You told us that he was Hugo's brother. Was he living at the manor during the delinquency of his diabolic brother? No, Edward was a teenager when he left for the Royal Navy. The training of a sailor begins very early. Speaking of Hugo, what do you know about him? Just what I was told, he was a base and diabolical being. He terrorized the family. He did not care for Oliver, his younger brother. I shouldn't be surprised if Hugo were responsible for Oliver's disappearance. In spite of his detestable character, Hugo found a delightful woman. Hugo was madly in love with her, but she couldn't return his love. Their union did not last. Growing jealousy and schizophrenia drove Hugo out of his mind. 
he killed his wife in so vile a manner. This dreadful murder is said to be the origin of the curse. I don't know any more about it. Do you think that his wife was some kind of witch? Could she have cursed your family before dying? No, Hugo was the only Baskerville said to practice the dark arts, nobody else. Interesting, it is possible that the locket belonged to Hugo. For now, let us search this place. Perhaps we shall find clues to help us in our inquiry. So that was kind of interesting, there a little bit of backstory about Hugo. Because uh, at the very start of this game, we saw the scene of Hugo murdering his wife, and then Hugo was immediately murdered by the Hound of the Baskervilles, and that was the first attack of the Hound. We're not going to follow up on that. That's actually as close as we're going to get to following up on the story. I wish we found out more about, you know, Hugo and his wife, because now my interest is piqued. I, I want to find out more about these characters, but no, we're just going to kind of forget about it. Well... We're gonna go back in time as soon as I get the next wolf eye. Um, that's the key. So I guess we should use the key. Um, what on earth is here? Okay, there's a pentagram. So basically we need to put all three pieces of the pentagram back into place. Okay, what does the game want me to do here? I can't get that Tetravex. It, it would burn my hand. It's too far away. I'm not seeing anything here. Um, the mask is, again, it's, it's too far out of the way. Um, yeah, okay, there. Q. Got it, okay. Well, ugh, the game says there's still something for me to do there, but forget it. I'm putting the cubes into place for a cube puzzle. So the number indicates uh, uh, how many times you can move a die. So you want to move the dies, so uh, uh, you want to move the dice so they end up in those green spots, and one dice, one die can move another die. Okay, so two goes down, and then one has to go right, that has to be it. So it's three, it's gonna be one, two, three, like that. How am I gonna get four there? One, two, three, four, perfect, okay. So this puzzle's not as difficult as it could be. Okay. Awesome! You did ten puzzles in a row without skipping. Great, now we can go to the past. Fantastic. Again, fresh traces of a prodigious violent struggle. The poor man should have stayed at sea. He was safer there. Okay, coat of arms, peace. Dark place, a very dark place. We're gonna look there. Another coat of arms piece. Wow, that, that's two in a row, okay. Uh, is this dark? That looks pretty dark, but I guess we can't look at it. Okay, we've got one of the wood pieces. We need two more. Oh, no, there's another one. Okay, <laughs> found it while I was talking about it. Um, okay, what else is here in this room? What else? Da, 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 da. Checking to see if there's anything else, and there is. Okay, cool. I had a feeling there was something else. Okay, the map screen saying there's nothing else left there. We could explore this room again, I I, I, I guess. Um, scheme pieces. The... I just don't see what on earth there is left for me in this room. I just don't get it. Oh, we have the key to Elizabeth's room. Let's go inside. What can you tell us about Elizabeth, Henry? She was my cousin, the daughter of Charles, and a great painter. There is nothing worse than to survive your own children, and that's what happened to my poor uncle. Elizabeth was attacked by the beast 15 years before her father. It is tragic. It was from this time that Charles began to write to me. He was so sad. I think he felt guilty for failing to protect his daughter. Hmm. Okay. Oh, found the final... Final, uh... The wooden piece. Uh, another coat of arms piece. Yeah, okay, so we can bring things to life. I'm gonna bring the, the painting to life. And hey, guess what? It's it's the pentagram piece. So I'm bringing that to life. And this, th this is a hidden objects challenge. Okay, I don't want to solve a hidden objects challenge right now. <laughs> Not really. Okay, so we'll, we'll put the pentagram piece into place and then use a hint to figure out what exactly it is I'm missing. The final coat of arms piece, okay. If the logic that we've seen so far continues, we should soon find another jewel of the medallion. Indeed. 
Yes, Dr. Watson, but this locket worries me more and more. I'm not persuaded that it's good for us. What do you mean, Holmes? Yeah, what's wrong with it? Obviously, this item didn't belong to any of the victims of the curse, which means that it is possible that it could have been Hugo's, and I don't like that hypothesis. However, this medallion is an essential element of our progress. It guided us here. Guided or manipulated? I really can't decide. Holmes, if you don't like using the medallion, don't use the medallion! Pretty simple solution to your problem there, buddy.